today we're going to install a super cheap, easy to do probe port on this Yoder loaded Wichita. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Todd and I'm delighted to have you guys here today. Spend a little bit of time watching some of our videos. So unfortunately, this Yoder loaded Wichita didn't come with any probe ports. Um, I bought it as is over at the barbecue headquarters in Simi Valley and uh, didn't have those pre-installed. Now they are options that some manufacturers provide. Um, you gotta make sure you order it special and that's just gonna slow down the delivery process and you know, you're gonna, sp you're gonna spend some extra money having them do it. So I'm gonna show you a really simple inexpensive way to install one with simple hand tools and it's going to make life a whole lot easier so these yoder loaded wichita's come with really tight fitting doors the flanges are almost metal on metal all the way around i don't need any kind of gasket material or anything like that it just doesn't need it that makes doing a pass-through probe cable kind of a problematic uh, kind of issue i don't want to crush it i don't want to uh closing the door on that thing and eventually having that stainless steel fray and eventually get crushed. Okay, so basically what I'm gonna be uh, working with here is these two Smartro probes and um, what we're trying to avoid is crushing this uh, stainless steel um, cable here. The actual cable's inside that stainless steel. Uh, and then um, you gotta be able to pass through this, uh, this whole mechanism through some kind of pass-through and not have too much uh, heat and smoke leakage uh, in the process. So before we get started any further, you guys know the drill. Make, your, make sure you get yourself some gloves, hearing, and eye protection. So, tools are gonna be really simple today. Get yourself a hammer and a center punch to start a pilot drill bit, a one inch diameter hole saw uh, capable of uh, metal, obviously a drill, and a wrench. And this is what probably is gonna be the only thing you're gonna need to really go out and buy. Um, you can see here the part number yourself. It's a UF cable connector. Uh, one per bag, three quarter inch, but you're gonna need a one inch hole. Um, and there's a part number right there. It's by a company called ProConnex. Um, I'll leave a link down in the description below for you guys to go check out. It's a two part kind of uh, pass-through connector here. Here's the uh, collar it would uh, cinch down the other side. But here's the uh, working end, obviously. Um, so what you have here, so what you have here is essentially three parts. You got the collar, you got the pass through itself, and then you got a rubber grommet that, you know, when you squeeze it with your fingers, it kind of opens up that orifice there, almost like a cat's eye a little bit. And that's gonna allow you to pass through the, uh, your cable connectors and um, and then um, you slide it into that there like that and put the collar on the other side on the inside of the smoker or on the outside that is and voila so there you go something like that optional uh, tools you might need get yourself a little bit of cutting oil to keep that bit nice and lubricated and cool and a dremel with a little sanding barrel on there uh, in case uh, you need to uh, grind away any burrs. One thing you want to keep in mind is uh, don't do this on the other end of your smoker next to the firebox. That's just too much heat. You don't want to deal with that. So I'm going to go just below this exit here for the smokestack. My two shelves are right about here. So I'm going to go just above the lower shelf. And I'm going to go in just about you know three or four inches um, just to kind of keep it away from um, the opening and the drafts and stuff like that. So I'm just going to go right about here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a nice little punch. It's a prick punch. This one happens to be a 3 8 
And I'm just going to give it a couple good knocks. There we go. Again, this is just an optional step here. Um, you don't necessarily need to do this. It uh, may not walk around on you. Then get yourself a nice bit and just go to town. Go. Now I'm going to come along with my hole saw. This one I'm going to oil up a little bit more. Really highly recommend this step. Keep that thing lubricated. Okay, so now that uh, that round section fell inside, so you just gotta fish that out. All right, not bad, not bad. Okay, so as you can see, it's got a few burrs on there. It almost gets through there. You could almost kind of thread it in, but uh, I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit with my Dremel. I want it to fit in there without any force. Okay, there we go. That is perfect. That's how you want it. Very little, like no lateral movement at all. That's perfect. Um, and it goes in there without marring up any of these threads. This particular fitting doesn't come with one of these conduit lock nuts, okay? So I'm gonna leave that there for you. Part number there, this was only, I think a buck or two, pretty cheap. The way these work, because this is quarter inch steel, after this gets through the back, there's not gonna be a lot to grab. So this is a perfect conduit lock nut to just grab the back of it. That's how that'll go on. Yeah, as you can see, that just goes in there like that. And then we'll take this lock nut. It just barely gets on there with maybe one or two threads. And then uh, all you gotta do is take a little screwdriver and just give it a little tap. Just kind of tighten it up a little bit. And there you go. Now this step again, optional. You know, if you don't mind a three quarter inch hole like that, you can just put them right on through and then just cap this off when you're not using it. You know, you're going to get a little bit of heat loss and a little bit of smoke out of here, but, uh, you know, and, you know, eventually you're going to get grease and things dripping down here, and you don't want that. So you can see this provided grommet fits in there just like that. Actually, it goes like that. Okay. Now, you can see that it's not going to fit out there right away, right? That part's going to get caught. So this is what you want to do. Okay. You want to just kind of squeeze it a little bit and it'll fit right through there just fine and these smart tro probes have this nice little spring uh, protector right there does a really nice job kind of stiffening up that side of it and just push it right on through opening it up a little bit it's like a little cat's eye there you go okay kind of like that now it's just a matter of pulling this through and then putting it in there like that. Now you take the collar, you want it to go on this way, and you just fish those through the end connectors and go right on in and just kind of snug it up, hand tight, there you go. Now you're going to have a little bit of uh, play with these. It looks like as you tighten this up, this might even squeeze it down a little bit. Again, just hand tight, it's all you need. There you go, beautiful. There you go, you can kind of see, you know, it's not that bad of a crack. Um, you could see a little bit through that, but you know, 
you could probably take um, some popsicle sticks, jab it in there, maybe just a piece of rubber shim or something, and uh, and it would do just fine. Um, I don't think uh, there's any problems at all with this like this. I think I think it's uh, I think it's perfect. So total cost, I already had the tools. Um, Five dollars. All right, guys, there you go, man. This was an easy fix for that pesky, tight-ass door on these Yoder loaded Wichita's and any smoker where you just need a cheap pass-through. It's going to just take you a few minutes to install, man. This has got to be the easiest mod I've ever done next to throwing away that charcoal grate. So, guys, if you like the video, if you like what you're seeing, please take a minute to subscribe, share it, tell your friends, meet us over at our Facebook uh, discussions page of the same name, Greenhorn Barbecue Beer Discussions. Stop in, stay a while, show us some pictures of what you're grilling up. Now go out and kill some brisket.